how are Hi. you? Doing well. How are you? So nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Um, I I just love the bromance. Is that what the word between you and Jared on set? Uh, you tell me. I don't know. <laughs> You guys look like you have a good time. We we probably have too much of a good time. Yeah, uh, but that's I think one of the one of the many many uh, ingredients to being as successful as we have is the fact that we don't take it too seriously. We really do get along and we enjoy each other's company and we enjoy working together. We have a very good professional relationship. We have a very good personal relationship, uh, and it's not just he and I. It doesn't just stop there. Uh, you know, the, the, the crew people, I would say about 75% of them have been there since day one. So they're family. I mean, they really are. Like, I know a lot of, like, I've been on shows where it, people get along really well, and it's like, oh, we're, we're in season two, and we're just such a big family. No, literally, like, 11 years we've been together. And you guys seem like such family men. They, there's kids around. Yes. It's a family affair on set. I mean, do they get to come watch, or is it, like, off limits? Well, the young kids, you know, maybe not on certain days when we're doing, like, really scary stuff. Uh, but, yeah, the, the, the kids come running through set every now and again, and, and everybody loves it. And, you know, we've seen, but that's the thing is it's like, you know, like, for instance, my camera operator, I remember when his daughter was born, and now she's seven, and I'm having conversations with her and, like, talking about her school days and Nothing stuff like makes that. you feel older than watching a child grow. <laughs> so we've, we've gotten to all, like, experience that together as a as an 80 member, you know, family. And, uh, you know, there's been, there's been highs, there's been lows, there's been, there's been births and marriages and deaths and divorces and all within the past decade. And it's, uh, it's been, it's been an amazing run and an amazing experience. And it'll be really, really, it'll be really hard and sad when it's over. Do you think you have one of the coolest, like top 10 coolest names in Hollywood? Cause I'm going to throw, names? yeah. Like just say it. Jensen. Jensen. Ackles? Yeah. Is that so? Jensen right. Ackles, yeah. Like when you were going to get signed by your agency back in the day, were they, were they like, man? I mean, it's not a stage name. That's like your born name, right? Yeah. yeah they, there was, there was some. <laughs> I, I got a little bit of pressure to, to change it, to change it and make it, and to change my my last name and make it a little bit more kind of flowy and and I was just like, that's gonna mess me up. Can I, I think just? It keep, sounds quirky. Can I just keep my name? Yeah, it's I've lived with it all my whole did life. Did they give you any suggestions like let's make it Jensen Johnson or did they give you any like weird? Yes, there were some. There were some like that. Do you that. remember any? Uh, well, the only one I do remember that they we almost went with was just my first and middle name, which is Jensen Ross. Then I think a chance uh, Ross friends. No, yeah. you made a good choice. Thank you. Did you have Did you have something in your contract that said you only could be in like fan favorite cult shows like Dawson's Creek? No, it's been Smallville. A, it's been a total coincidence. I have no idea why. But when that happens, do you do you know? Are you like? You get the script and you're like, this is going to be big? Or is it something where it's like, it's a slow build? I mean, I mean Dawson's Creek, if I remember, was not a slow build. It was like instantaneous. I, I only came in at the very end of that. Like, okay. I was only the last season. I was just kind of like window dressing for the final season. So that was not like, <laughs> I, you know. Uh, and then the same thing with Dark Angel. Um, but I think, you know, at the end of the day, it's their roles that I'm... Uh, that I like and I'm attracted to. Um, you know, I like these kind of anti-heroes and, you know, the struggle and the, I like the fact that there's action and there's drama and there's a little bit of comedy peppered in. Like, I really like the aspects of all of that. And I guess those kind of shows cater to more characters like that. So that's where I end up. One last question to wrap us out. A lot of the shows here are reboots or they're remakes. If you could remake any movie or show and bring it back to life and play the title character, what would the show be and what character? I I don't know. I, here's the thing. I, my In my opinion, I have a lot of like the whole reboots and revampings of very successful and very iconic previous shows or movies, in my opinion, kind of hurt my soul a little bit because I, I'm like one of the ones that likes to just, you know what, that was that. It, it's like you sh you, there's just some things you shouldn't redo. However, sometimes they're very successful and they make the studios lots of money and <laughs> I'm not the studio guy. I'm not the one calling the shots. Uh, I can't name one that I would like to revamp right now. I can name that a lot that I wouldn't want to revamp though. Well, in 30 years, some of your shows might be revamped, so that'll be interesting. And I'd be okay with that. And you'd come back as your older version of yourself. So. Maybe, or just make fun of the guys that were doing us. <laughs> Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet Thank you too. You. Thanks.